Hi there, let's step through how to use the Google Classroom for QuickBooks classes. First of all, you're going to be getting an invitation in your email. Now, if you're not using a Gmail account, that's okay. You can use um, any email account, though I will tell you that sometimes certain email addresses have trouble getting into the classroom. If that's the case, email me at Jackie at GoJackieShaw.com. So here's an invitation. I've invited myself to the classroom, and so I'm going to press join. So your first step is going to press join to join the classroom. The next thing is it's going to want me to log in. And so I'm going to choose join again, and now I'm in the Google Classroom. When you first go into the Google Classroom, there is something called the stream. The stream is actually just the activity that's been going on in the course. It's going to show where I've posted assignments. They're all posted ahead of time, so there'll be a long string of these. This is a great place for you to leave me notes because then other students see the questions you're asking and the answers I'm providing. I encourage you to use the stream if you want to make comments about the class or have any questions. But when you're working, you want to be in the classroom. So notice there's a tab here that says classroom. This is where you want to be working because you can see all of the chapters in order here. And please note that there is an assignment in each chapter and you'll be marking that as done. In the classroom, what you're going to see is an assignment assigning the chapter and then you're going to see different topics covered in each chapter. And in these topics, there'll be videos and quizzes, and there will sometimes be things that I want you to download as well so that you can have things on hand when you're working in QuickBooks. So as we're scrolling down here, you'll see that this particular class has six chapters. So let's go into an example assignment. You will see assignments and therefore each chapter. If we look at this technology assignment, what you'll find when you view assignment is that it lists what to do and then there's option to mark it as done, but the actual work isn't in the assignment. What we need to do is go back to the chapter and following the instructions in the assignment, we'll find out that we're supposed to watch the videos, take the quizzes for this particular chapter. So let's go up to an example assignment. Here's an example assignment. And so the first thing you would do is watch the videos. And so we'll watch this video. Hi there, thanks for watching this video. That's done. Now we'll go back to the classroom, we'll take the quiz. Did I watch this video? Yes, submit. So now my quiz is done. Finally, I'll go back to the classroom and back to the assignment, view my assignment, and I'll mark it as done. And this is the best way to keep track of where you've left off. It's good to do an entire chapter at a time. And so I'm going to mark this as done. Now it says, did you turn in all of your work? And the answer will always be mark as done because there aren't any assignments that you'll be turning in normally. Um, in the cases where there are assignments to turn in, it'll be very clear. And so watch the videos, take the quizzes that are associated with the videos, and then when you're all done with the entire chapter, you're going to mark it as done. Let's go back, arrow back. And then I can move on to the next sections of the introduction. In some cases, there's more than one video in a section, and that's why it's good to make sure that you finish an entire section and ideally entire chapter in each sitting so that you know where you've left off. If I go back to the stream and I look on the left hand side, these are all of the upcoming assignments, but I can choose view all and I can see that I've turned in the example assignment and now all of these other assignments are due. And so I can pop back over to the classroom and move on down the line to the next things that are listed. So I hope that helps. So when you log in, you'll first be in the stream. If you've left me any notes, you can see if I've responded to them. There is a spot again on the left hand side where you can see all of the upcoming assignments and they're all listed right here. 
and then you will want to use your back arrow and actually work in the classroom so you do everything in order. Hope that helps. Enjoy your QuickBooks class.